Hey guys, Stealth here. Today I'm having a look at a completely different game. Um, I've decided to give Wargame a pause because I've been playing it so much to create all of the videos for you guys. So today I'm looking at Prison Architect. Now I've been playing this game in the past a little bit but I found that at that point there weren't that many features in there. So um, there are quite a lot of features added since I last played it and I want to give the game another go. So, if you've never heard of Prison Architect, it's a game, as the title says, where you build your prison. Now, not only do you build it, but you also manage it. So, you're also going to be in control of daily operations in the prison. First of all, I'm going to plan my prison. I'm going to use the planning tab, and I first want to put a big wall around it. By doing this, my prisoners, of course, cannot escape, which would be nice if you're running a prison. Oops, that's too big, I think. No, actually, that's good. Let's see. Over here we have the deliveries and the garbage. Uh, the deliveries is where everything from supply trucks offloads. So this is where all of your uh, new inmates are going to arrive. And this is where all of your uh, other deliveries, such as um, the stuff you need for your prison, is going to be delivered as well. Now we have garbage over here and I want to make this thing a working prison so I want to have prison uh, labor and I also want to have an exports section here where I can uh, offload my exported products so I have something right there. Now I found that planning your prison is extremely important. Um, a couple of patches ago they introduced the ability to throw stuff into the prison so prisoners can now receive contraband into the prison by it being thrown over the walls. So I've got to keep that in mind. So the first thing I want to do is uh, plan exactly where my yard is going to be. Where is going to be um, the main center of the prison? And how am I going to structure my cells? I usually like to build cell blocks of about 10 to 20 cells. And the problem with doing that on the outskirts of the area is that by doing that you're also making it very easy for prisoners to escape. So what I first want to do is um, have a good center position, so say it's about something like here, for my first few prison buildings. Now let's first make a general square. Now actually I want to have this area as my uh, introduction area. This is where the new prisoners are going to come in. And then I want to have a visitations area. And no, that's not the kind of visitation like what exactly are you smuggling inside, but where people can meet with their families. And over here I can have a holding cell. Now that gives me, let's see, I'm going to have a holding cell there. And I can probably make an office here. Um, yeah, I can make the holding cell a bit smaller, like that. Then I can have a door here, and have... Oh, actually, I cannot make this a building. I was going to plan on making this the warden's office, but I guess that's not going to work. Um, let's see, I could make it a bit of yard. That wouldn't be very effective. Actually, I'm just going to make it storage. I'm just going to make this area storage. So we're going to as allocate this as a storage region. There you go. Now the rest of the planning. Um, I can make this area up here a yard. That should probably help the prisoners get some air. Here it is. Now guys, I'm not half as experienced in prison architect as I am in war game. So. Um, Give me a break, basically, and help me play this game. If there's any of you out there who have played this game, then please let me know how you played the game, um, what I should be on the lookout for, what the threats are in this game, because I really haven't played it that much. So any help I'd greatly appreciate. So here we go, bigger yard, uh, planning. I want to have some footwear, some footpaths. So this is going to be a path. See, make another wall here. Then I want to have. Um, 
do I need to have any buildings here? Actually, I could make a staff room here. Staff room is a place where some of the staff can relax. And by adding that right next to the yard, it's going to be right close to the area where the guards are going to be operational. So this is going to be my staff restroom. Staff room. Oh great, you're going to have to make a building first. Okay. Fine, at least we have this pathway filled up. Pathway to the yard. And then I'm going to have my first cell block. I think 12 is decent. Um, they need about 6 tiles a piece. So let's see how big we can make this thing. One thing I have found that if you can um, split your cell blocks up into multiple, sorry, if you can split your cells up into multiple blocks, it's really going to help you if you're uh, doing searches of those cells at some point. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm going to have one more. Uh, there you go. Then I have one tile in the middle. And I'm just going to keep building. There you go, this wall is a bit out of position. Yeah, that's a bit better. Now, I'm going to have another one of those cell blocks. Let's see, this was 11 by 31. So let's have another 11 by 31. I don't have to build that now, but I'm going to reserve the room for it. Um, let's see, I can have another pathway running between these buildings. And I can have an entrance on this side and over there. So make another pathway here. Have another pathway to and across the yard. This should help my prisoners get around a bit easier. Now, um, my prisoners will need some place to eat. So I'm going to need to make a kitchen and a canteen. Let's first get the kitchen, canteen, and shower building. Let's see, something like this. Then, um, I want to have a good entrance to this. So let's make this side the kitchen. And then, for 40 prisoners, I need quite a bit of room. Let's make it like that. I have a pretty big canteen, so I can expand upon that a bit later. And then I want to have a shower building. There you go. Now what else do I need? I got the shower building, I got some cell blocks, canteen, kitchen, shower. Yeah, I will need some other stuff later on, like a workshop or a cleaning cupboard. So yeah, I'm going to need to reserve some space for that, but so far I think I can do it. Now, let's get some money. I already have 30,000, but I can also get some more grants. And by getting grants, you get some advance payment and some more payment upon completion. So I get 20,000 more. Now, I'm going to close off my prison to new inmates. And this is where I found the game to have a small exploit, because over here you can see my cash flow, which is positive. Um, I think I shouldn't have any cash flow coming in um, when I'm not having any prisoners. So I can just keep the game on infinitely right now and keep waiting for money to come in. I'm not going to do that because I think it's a bit of cheating. So what I'm first going to do is set up my prison. Then let some prisoners in as soon as possible. And first we're going to start with an outer fence because of course you don't want those guys to run away. There, that's the prison fence done. Now, put the game on fast forward. Now you're going to see my worker guys come in. They're going to offload everything here. And I want to have these sections open so that they don't block off the prison as a whole. I want to have this section for storage. So I want to put a staff door in here. And then a staff door in there so that they can get around without having to ask the guards all the time to come in and let out. 
Meanwhile, I can also do the planning on this building. Now, Prison Architect, if you want to pick it up, it's a game that's being developed by a smaller studio in Great Britain. And it has a decent price. It's, I believe the last time I checked it was about uh, 20 euros, maybe. So that would be 18 or 17 pounds or 22 dollars, depending on where you're watching the video from. There you go. And I'm also going to need something else. I'm also going to need a room for my generator and my water supply. So let's put that next to this zone as well. Um, I already get one of those for free. A power station. Something like that. And then I want to have a couple of capacitors next to it. And a water station or a pump station over there. Connect those two. Now you see my guys are still working on building this fence, but they're almost done. So we can almost get to work here. Now you can see that this yard has an exclamation mark on it. And that is because it doesn't have any... Um, it's not completely secure. It has to be behind one door. And you can see that uh, right now I have a large open zone here and I did that because then my worker guys can come in a lot easier so later on I'll put a big prison door in front of the section so that the guys cannot escape so that's that done time to get the first prison building built I'm just gonna go with one building now and I can always expand it later So we're going to put a jail door right there and another one there so that I can have guys come in here and leave to the other side to take a shower for example or go to the yard. There that's that done. Add in some walls to start building my cells. Now you can see all of these blinking electrical signs, which means that by now I should start putting in electrical wire here, because the prison is dark. There's no electricity being delivered to this building, and I need to take care of that, because without it I cannot see anything and my prisoners will go quite angry. So let's get some uh, electrical wire from there running through this building. And now we're going to fill up this prison area. So every cell gets a bed. By the way, right now the game doesn't know yet that I'm going to make these things cells. I have to first designate the room as a cell before they know. Before it knows. Cell also needs to have a toilet. So there you go, now it's light again and it's lit up using the electricity. But now that I'm putting the toilets in, you can see that these have blinking uh, water signs, which means that they're not connected to a water line. So I'm going to put a large tube between these things and then another one up there. And then I can hook up these toilets to the main water line. Now using utility view you can see that these guys are constantly building new water lines, new water pipes. And the moment they connect this it's going to be all connected here. 
and you can see that some of these toilets are now provided with water because they have a solid light, it's no longer blinking. So queue another order and that's going to be adding jail doors because that is what they're here for. They're here to stay indoors. They're here to sit out their sentence. So now we can start designating these as prison cells. And now I have 10 cells and add these and I have 20. There you go. That's my prison cell building done. Now, next, I'm going to have um, a building here. This was going to be the holding cell, which is also one of my to-do lists, by the way. I need to have a holding cell. And I want those guys to come in through or to the holding cell. Actually, was this going to be my holding cell or just something else? Oh yeah, this was going to be the staff room, sorry. Um, add another piece of building there, and then one over here. What was this going to be again? Ah yes, the family uh, visitation room. So, the holding cell is going to have a jail door. And then the family room is also going to have a jail door, closing it. I'm going to put a wall in between these buildings so that I can have these as two separate rooms. One for the guards and one as a holding cell. And I want to add a staff door on this side so that my guards can come and go as they please. So there's going to be a staff room. And this is going to be a holding cell. Holding cell needs a toilet and a bench, so let's add some of those in. A bench and a toilet. The toilet, of course, needs to be hooked up to the main water line. And I need some electricity in here as well. Get some power lines in there. And get some power lines in there. Let there be light. Alright, I connected it one too short. There you go. Staff room needs a white sofa and a drink machine. A white sofa and a drink machine. And I probably made this thing way too big, but yeah, so be it. So, um, let's put some concrete tiles on the floor. Make sure people can actually walk here. Over here we're going to have to add another wall because right now it has a concrete or uh, a fence which is not exactly what I'm looking for. There, that's better. And we're going to make that the visitation room. Visitation needs a visitor table. Okay. Visitor table. Let's get a couple of those in. There you go. So that's that part of the prison done. Now, let's get to work on having a front door. I can use the large jail door for that. So one there, and one there. Um, add a bit of concrete wall there. Now this thing's not quite done yet. Let's see, if I close it... Yeah, it's right in the middle. Not quite sure how that door can stay open like that. Um, I was going to add some fence. Fence there, fence there. Did 
delete all of this planning for these tiles because the tiles are now in place. There. So in a yard we're going to need to entertain those prisoners a little bit and I'm going to have a common room for that. So I'm going to build another small building. I'm going to have just a standard door in front of it. It'll also require some electricity. What we're going to put in here, let's see, the common room. I'm going to have a pool table for the guys. Let's make that two pool tables, a uh, phone booth. And we can put the weights bench outside if they want to work out. We can also have a couple of TVs in here. I'm probably taking way too much care, way too good care of my prisoners, but so be it. There you go. And actually, I also want to have a toilet in here so that if my guys are in the yard, they can still go to the toilet. And yeah, they're prisoners. I'm not going to build a separate building for that. Whoops. That's better. Okay. So, time to build another building. And this is going to be my kitchen slash canteen. I'm also going to get need to get some offices in here somewhere. Question is where? Uh, let's see. First, cordon off this area as well. I don't want these guys messing with my power generators. And let's add a staff door on this side. So that we can get in there later. Now, I'm going to have a prison door, a large prison door on this side. And then a staff door on this side. Now, let there be light. Build a brick wall here, so I can have two of these as separate rooms. One of these is going to be the canteen. And the other half is the kitchen. Kitchen needs a cooker, a fridge and a sink. Okay. A cooker... Whoops. Never know what the front and the back is of these things. Two fridges. A sink. And I need to have some water flowing to that sink. There's the sink, so that's where the water needs to go. Still need to hook up these things to the power grid. And then a canteen needs a serving table, a table and a bench. So, a serving table... Hmm, that's unfortunate. I'm going to put one of them down there. Um, alternative. Have one like that, one like that, and put some benches and fridge, sorry, not fridge, uh, tables in. So it's going to be a bench, table, bench, bit of room. And again, bench, bench, table. Actually, these things are a bit out of position. 
Whoops, dismantle. What I want to do here is make sure that I have enough room to install metal detectors because from my past prisons I've found that these guys will sometimes try to steal forks and knives. Don't want to have them do that. So, metal detector, metal detector, right there. There you go. Now we can have the serving table off to that side and one there. And of course we need to hook these up to the power grid. So let's get some cooks in here. Two cooks. Okay, so that's my canteen done. Time to get some offices done. Planet first. One, two, three, four. This is another office, another office, another one. Let's see, you got a warden, I got a construction man. I got the f chief guard, I got the psychologists. This should be enough for now. I'm slowly starting to run out of money too, so I'm going to have to open my prison soon. Put some staff doors in there. a warden and then used to be his office Also need to add power here. Don't want the warden sitting in the dark. I'm going to hire some guards before I don't have the money to do it. Now we can open up the prison. Fifteen prisoners arriving. Now let's start to research. Let's see what's important right now. Security and psychology. Security will help help you with all of the security options, and psychology will tell you how your prisoners are doing and what they need. Okay, one hour left. Let's see. I got a yard. I got a common room. Oh snap! I need a shower. <laughs> Yeah, I forgot about the showers. That's gonna be fun. It's gonna be a real smelly place here. Get a door in there. As you can see, my prisoners are now arriving here. And the guards are slowly escorting them to their cells. I'm going to lock this thing open so that they can go in and out because I don't have enough guards yet. Right, uh, shower room. So in a shower room you need to have shower heads. Damn, run out of money. 
Let's see, can I take out another grant, maybe? Um... Oh, I got enough money now that I have a shower. Good. Let's get some large pipes in here. And then some small pipes. And we will need to get some drains up there, otherwise the water is going to be all over the prison. Of course we also need to get some electricity flowing here, because it's right dark. And let's create a path to the administration section. I'm going to cordon that off as well. What the hell? We got an escape? How'd they do that? Guy just ran off, let's see. How did a guy run off like that? We got this area secure. Hmm. They destroyed the staff door. Interesting. Yeah, that's not going to get me any votes. Okay. Um, repair these staff doors as soon as possible. Read the CEO's letter. Yeah, done. So I suppose you could say this is not very secure. Let's get a fence in here and disable that door. Yep, someone's been detected by a metal detector. That should make the prison a little more secure. Whoa, whoa, what's going on? Oh yeah, they're fighting my guard. Brilliant, need more guards. And by the looks of it, I'm also going to need a chief guard. What the hell, why don't you have a filing cabinet yet? Oh, the office is too small. That's the problem. There. Utilities. I'm going to have a psychologist to tell me how these prisoners are feeling, what they're upset about. My income's pretty bad, only 740. We'll need to work on that. Um, let's see, I need to hire someone else, I need to research someone else. Finance. Let's see, for the guards, I also want to have some patrol routes, so let's research those. Now, what's going to be the next thing we build? Let's see. Let's see. I think maintenance is going to be important to get a cleaning or a groundskeeping going. Can take out some more grants, get some more money, visitation rights. 
At least three visitor tables have a common room of a ta pool table. Yeah, I have all this, I think, except for the five phone booths. So, let's build some more phones and then we can get some more money. Close off the prison, because now we're at full capacity, 20 of 20. And it's going to add a bit to our uh, daily cash flow. I'm also going to add some metal detectors to the front door. Because some of these guys will actually come in with stuff they're not exactly supposed to have. Um, let's see, the metal detector. Two there. And they will need power. Let's do a shakedown. I want to see what exactly these prisoners are using. Found a knife, found a fork, poison, drugs. Wow, these guys got a lot of stuff. Such pleasant people. Always trying to kill each other. Let's see, why are they so upset? They need clothing, they need recreation, they can have recreation. They need exercise, oh, I've got machines for that. Hygiene's okay, they can sleep. They need drugs, yeah well, suggest you kick it off, friend. And it is going up again. Clothing's starting to get a problem. Anyway, I'm going to stop the recording here. I had about a 35 minute run. Got my prison operational. I wanted to put this video up as an experiment. I wanted to see if you guys wanted to uh, have me do more of these or if you think this is not that interesting to watch. I mean, it's not war game. It's something completely different. It's a whole different kind of strategy. So let me know what you think. If you want to have me do more, please let me know in the comments below. And if you want to see more of my war game videos, of course, I will keep doing that. Just subscribe to my channel and I'll have one up every day. Thanks for watching and see you in another video.